This is my first invitation to speak to my mother church. Thank you. I've spent nearly 60 years in architecture. I've been honored to be elected to the American Institute of Architects as a lifetime honorary member. My work in architecture has received adequate recognition, but my fear has always been when I'm so committed to excellence. Uh, what's going to happen to someone who didn't have my teachers? I am what I am. Not because I am somebody special, but I did have special teachers. I came under the influence of people. And my successors will not have that privilege. So one of my early decisions, secretly, was to make sure that this work of my hands in art and architecture would not be inherited by my successor or by my own denomination. Even though we go back to 1628, Peter Stuyvesant in New Amsterdam, now New York, we do not have a tradition of great respect for art and architecture. The Roman Catholic Church has that. And so it was my plan to hopefully see to it that the title and the ownership of my life's work in land and buildings would be in the control of the Roman Catholic Church. So that's why I'm so honored to see you today tell you that and to thank you for taking it. Well, you didn't just take it, you paid for it. <laughs> probably one of the reasons why I look to you, but uh, its recognition as a piece of art and architecture today is global, and I trust it to you, it's yours. And what the announcement made before I spoke said so clearly, what you can do on this property, in these buildings, in this location, in the United States of America, California, Orange County. I don't think anybody in this group is thinking big enough. This could be a global place for dynamic energy to be generated. And that's what the church needs today and tomorrow. Dynamic creative energy. Uh, if it's to be found anywhere, it's got to be in you. You are the church. I know that. Respect that. Honor that. And thank you for taking charge of a physical facility that can be used for the glory of God and to honor the name of our Lord and the name of our Savior, Jesus Christ. I love you. I know you do too. And thank you for giving me these few moments. Bishop Brown, I am honored to count you a, a friend and my mentor. This is the Mother Church, you're the bishop. 
any time you have advice for me, criticism, constructive or whatever, my ear is open to you. 